everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the Tic Tac Doe Showdown. Glad to have you with us on this episode 13 night of Tic Tac Doe. We have a great champion with us who has won $279,367. We're not going to waste any time. Let's uh, see who the champion is and who is his challenger. Our champion returning back, hoping to defeat another one, is Johnny Van Diesel, and his challenger is Garrison Newkirk. Okay, guys, welcome to the show. Gary, uh, you're confident, well, y'all, actually, y'all know y'all very competitive with each other anyway, right? I love everybody. That's good. And, uh, JVD, you think you can, uh... Keep on winning and try to topple over um, Kyle's score. We'll see what happens. I mean, oh, how I don't close is he? The best. He's at two hundred seventy-nine thousand three hundred sixty-seven dollars. Kyle. Kick his ass, Gary. Wow, screw you, Kyle. <laughs> big words for a big champ. All right, guys. Well, let's see our nine categories, and they are. All right. State birds, bonus category. If you choose the bonus category and you're uh, correct, you get to um, have another term by answering a three-part question. Numbers, holidays, the Ten Commandments. Uh -oh. No, no, no. <laughs> he, and I think Gary just got choked there. The jumping category, I will read a question. Y'all will go after y'all dial pads on that category. Board games, double or nothing on that category. If you get that question right in that category, you can keep the box or you can risk it for another box. But do be careful. If you mess up on the second box, you will lose them both. And mixed words. And JVD, um, which category do you like, sir? I got to start with my favorite one. Double or nothing, please. That's a big start. Good start. If you answer this question, you'll have a possibility, a possible chance at a second box, but you have to answer this question first. When is Mother's Day? And I'll give you the three choices. Is it the third Sunday in June, the second Sunday in May, or the first Sunday after the full moon? Why? That third one's kind of funny. No, it's uh, the second Sunday in May. That's correct. All right, JVD. I, I, I know the deal. I'm risking it to go to the one next to it, board games in the lower corner. Going for board games. And this will get you two X's, and it will put $4,000 in the pot right away. Here's the question on board games. This board game that is played is just like Sorry, and it requires you to move your men from the start line to go home by using a pop -a -matic container. What is this game? Trouble. Say it again. Trouble. Correct! You got two X's, that's $4,000 in a pot, and we shuffle. And Gary, what's your desire? Mixed words, please, for the block. And I'm gonna need the uh, uh, chat for that. Thank you, Corey. I'm going to type the uh, mixed words out. Right on my neck. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really? This is so kind. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see those mixed words, uh, Gary? Yeah. Okay, here's your question. This basketball player played for the Chicago Bulls 12 years and the Washington Wizards 2 years. Name the basketball player. Michael Jordan. Correct. Put that circle on the board. The $6,000 in the pot. We shuffle it. And you're up, JVD. I had to think 
for a sec. This is my favorite category. It's not on the board now. I'll do the shuffle. Um, I'll take the I'll take the center square holidays. Holidays is, a, is going to be a two part question worth three thousand dollars. If you need the extra time, we'll give it to you, Jay Mhm. Mm now, eleven states observe this holiday that happens on the third Saturday in October. I need you to name that holiday. And the second question is, this holiday that is celebrated in Canada is on July 1st. Name that holiday. Now, do you need the extra time? Mm -hmm. Give it to him. All right, JVD, 11 states in the United States observe this holiday that happens on the third Saturday in October. Could you name that holiday? Sorry, my mic was muted. <laughs> I am out of it. Uh, third Sunday in October. You can either answer the first one or the second half on your preference. Yeah. Wait, what was the second one again? Okay, I'll give you the second question. This holiday that is celebrated in Canada is on July 1st. Name that holiday. Yeah, I probably screwed both of them up. Uh, I'm going to say, that, even though I'm probably wrong for that one, I'm thinking that's Bastille Day, but I'm wrong. So. No, it's not Bastille Day. I'll tell you, the, um, the second one is actually Canada Day. Okay, like I knew that one. I don't live in Canada. Yeah, and the first one... 11 states observe this holiday that happens on the third Saturday in October. Name that holiday. That was Sweetest Day. Sweetest Day. All right. Um, we shuffled up the information already, right, Corey? Mm -hmm. And, uh, Gary, you get the option. All right. Um, here. I'm going to go for the mixed words, please. That's you love that category, do you, Gary? Let's uh, get, oh, here we go. get the screen up here. Screen share. I like mixed words. I can tell. One thing that is great about mixed words is not just in word search, Scrabble, or the word hunt books or whatever. It gets your brain active of thinking better. Oh, really? So it's like an exercise for your brain. That's one thing I like about mixed words is an exercise of making you think better. So it was a good idea that I got that category, I guess, up Damn there. Skippy. Damn Skippy. Okay. All right, now here's your question, Gary. You see that? Those mixed words, right? Yeah, I see it. Oh, boy. The premise of the sit of this sitcom centers around four women that live in a home in Miami, Florida. What's the sitcom? Oh, boy. I'm just trying to figure out that middle word. Ah! I need, I need your answer, Gary. They're singing the theme song for you. Gary would have done it. I know it. I know it. Thank you for being a friend. And I need an answer, Gary. He doesn't know what it was. It was the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls. Six thousand dollars still in the pot. Let's shuffle it. I've never seen the show before, so I don't know what the heck Golden Girls was. Betty White. Still never seen it. Beatrice Arthur, Rose McClanahan. I never got into it. So. Actually, it's Rue McClanahan, but okay. What the, what the hell ever? <laughs> right. Bye, uh, JVD, uh, you're up. Wait, how does bonus category work again? If I uh, get that right, I get another turn as well? It's like double or nothing? You, you answer, yeah, you get another turn, but you answer a three-part question on bonus category. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'll take, uh, Top middle board games. Board games, okay. Let's try board games, and here's your question on that, uh, JVD. Which board game asks you to make words out of adjacent letter dice? Boggle. That's correct. $8,000 in a pot, we shuffle it. You're up, Gary. Okay. Of course, now the right time comes in. I actually want to go for board games for the block. And it's a two-part question. And if you need the extra time, Gary, we'll give it to you. All right. Okay. The first question is this. This board game requires you 
to pull objects out of Cavity Sam to receive cash. Name this game. And the second question is this. This board game, this on this board game, you put 25 shapes into the holes before your 60 seconds are up. Name that game. Do you need the extra time, Gary? No. All right, what's your first answer? Operation and Perfection. Get on that center box. $11,000 in a pot, let's shuffle it. That really helped. And Oh boy. Well, this is an interesting board now, JVD. Damn right it is. Double or nothing. Going with double or nothing. Okay. Here's your question on double or nothing, JVD. Embry Jewel 3. How many jewels does one need to get a hypercube? And I'll give you the three choices. Is it A, 3, B, 4, or C, 5? I'm so sorry, I missed the question. Okay, I'll read it again. Alright, there we are. In Bejeweled 3, how many jewels does one need to get a hypercube? Okay, can I have choices if there are any? Oh yeah, yeah, there, uh, there's three choices. Is it 3, 4, or 5? Need an answer, four. JVD. I think it was four. No, it's five. Of course not. It's five. So uh, we shuffle the board, and Gary, you're up. All right. Did it shuffle? It is shuffled up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think I might as well go for the bonus category. All right, Gary, and it's a three-part question. You answer this bonus category, Gary. You'll win the game, you'll be the new champion, and you have $13,000, and you'll be the new champion. Here's your question, and you must answer all three parts, Gary, in order to get that box and win the game, okay? Okay. I want you to name any three members from the comedy show Three Stooges. Oh, oh my God, I am so stupid. Uh, it is Curly, Larry, and Mo. You got to take that dough! Good job, Gary! $13,000 in a pot, and you have, you're the new champion! Thank you. All of them I think that I have listed off right are Larry, Moe, Curly, Shemp, and Joe. And I probably think one more after that. I can't remember who. Uh, it was Curly Joe. Curly Joe and Shemp. It was Larry, Moe, Curly, Shemp, and uh, Joe something. Uh, and there was Curly Joe, too. Yeah, I'll give y'all the exact names. Mo Howard, Larry Fine, Curly Howard, Shemp Howard, Joe Besser, and Curly Joe Dorita. Yep. Those are all the names. But you're the new champion. Well, JVD, you had a good run at the game. You have won $279,367. You're clearly in second place right now. And uh, congratulations. And a great opponent, Well, Gary, are you ready to go after that dragon kick his ass? Uh, okay. All right, let's go after the dragon. And he's, but he's still an excellent friend. But be quick or be quick. Wow, wow, perfection. Nicely done, Gary. Thirteen thousand dollars for you. And we have nine cat. Uh, excuse me. I always do that. We have nine numbers on the board that range from one thousand to five thousand dollars, and a ticket and attack, and this fool that is about to come up. Well, somebody left the call. Yeah, is it, I bet it's JVD that left. Yep. No surprise. All right. Now, you know the object of the game, Gary. You reach $10,000 or more without seeing that jerk that is in the center, how the dragon. Anyway, how I haven't talked to you in a while. What do you have to say for yourself? 
Is it okay if I can show you a picture of my thoughts? Yeah, let's see the picture of his thoughts, Corey. Devil? Well, not devil. Dragon? There! Let's see that picture. Kiss my ass right there! <laughs> You're gonna kiss on the phone in your face too because you are greedy bastard, alright, devil? Dragon, whatever, you're dragon, devil, whatever you the hell you are, you're going down, boy! You are going down! We, you're a dragon! That's it, that's how you have to do it. You can't be scared of that dragon. Alright, if uh, he does beat the dragon, Corey, tell me what he could win. He could have a chance at a Therasana. Trip to London. Living room group. Trip to Puerto Vallarta. Queen bed and sleeper set. Trip to Munich. A price package worth $32,088. Alright, uh, Gary. And if you manage to get the tick and the tack um, any, on any of your picks, we'll give you a $30,000 bonus to go along with your winnings. And you'll have a chance to get a new car. Okay, Gary? Let's uh, cover the board up, Corey. All right. And if you're ready, go ahead. Let's try number four. Number four. Oh, it's a tick. Five. Ooh, it's five. If the tack is in number five, you know what happens, Gary. Yeah. Let's see it. And? $2,500, Gary. Seven. Number seven, he's keeping on going, and let's see. Oh, no! Oh, God damn, God damn. Well, that dragon showed up. Well, now that Gary got his frustration out on that dragon, I would say that the tick is behind number six. I'm going to say it's number eight. And I'm right. Oh, you are. It is number six. Because, yeah, I remember what Corey said. The tick and the attack are usually adjacent to each other. Well, Gary, do you feel like doing another game against somebody else? Can we try and do a game tomorrow? It's fine with me. Uh, we'll just straddle this one for right now and uh, uh, put in another game after that and then call it, it, call it an episode. So we'll right. be back in a little while, folks. All right. It'll be 24 hours from now, but it'll still be episode 13, right, executive producer? Yep. All right. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to Tic Tac Doe on this Memorial Day weekend. Glad to have you week with us, and I want to say Happy Memorial Day to all my friends and family out there, including my mom, Linda. Hello, mom. And um, um, who do we have today playing, Corey? We have playing today our returning champion of one day, Gary Newkirk, and his challenger today. Alex Putnam. All right. Well, um, Putnam, we don't have no Disney um channel as the category anymore. Damn Disney Channel. Damn Disney Channel. That damn Disney Channel. About time. So, do you feel confident? I don't know. I haven't really seen Gary play this game, so um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping it's a good matchup. All right, and um, Gary, you have thirteen thousand dollars in cash. Oh, well, that's lovely. After one game, you think you can do it again? Oh, just kidding. I think I can re. I think I can keep my championship if I want my title back. No, you're not gonna get your title back. Some keep. Please. No. Please. No. Please. 
it. You're gonna have to earn it, bud. You're gonna have to earn it. And lose some fighting. Well, let's get. Let's get right into this game. Oh! Let's oh, see. Wait. Let's wait, see the wait. nine categories on the board, and they are. Let's the, see the categories. The price is right. Secret category. If you choose the secret category and you're correct on that category, the value of the pot will double. Dang. Famous women. Who am I? The 50 states. Jump in category. The book of Daniel. The $10,000 question. You answer that question right, we'll add $10,000 in the jackpot. And baseball. And Gary, you're the ex, and uh, where do you want to begin, sir? I don't know. And by the way, just to get this out of my system, no! Um, I'm going to start off with the famous women, please. And before we start off with that, yeah, light up the famous women. I forgot one other thing. I forgot to get my buzzers and stuff, because we okay. can't work without the sound on here. So, okay. And he's going with famous women on the upper... Right-hand corner, and here's your question on famous women, Gary. All right. This woman was a civil rights activist, and on December 1st, 1955, she refused to stand up on the bus to give her seat to a white passenger. Name this woman. Rosa Parks. Correct. $2,000 in a pot, and we shuffle it. Shuffle. And pardon them where you want to place your first circle. Um, I'll do famous women. Famous women, and it's going to be a two-part question. Like if you need wins. the extra time, we'll give it to you. All right, first off, who is our current first lady of the United States, and where is her home state? Do you need the extra time? Uh, yes. Give it to him. Putnam, who is our current First Lady of the United States? Uh, Michelle Obama. Correct. And where is her home state? Illinois. Correct. $3,000 in the pot. Bring it to $5,000 and we shuffle it. And uh, Gary, where do you want to go? I want to go from I love me them uh, women, so I'm going to go for the famous women. Third time in that category. And here's your question on that. This woman played a pivotal role in the women's suffrage movement. In 1872, she was arrested for voting in her hometown in Rochester, New York. She is also seen on the one dollar coin. Could you name her? Jeez, I don't even know what the one dollar coin looks like. Oh, I know this one, but I can't say it. I think I know. Okay, if y'all know it and Gary doesn't get it, I'll let y'all answer it. I don't know what the one dollar coin looks like. Screw it, I don't know. You want to pass on this one? No guess? I'm passing, I have no answer. Okay, the answer, go ahead and say the answer. Susan B. Anthony. That's correct, it's Susan B. Anthony. All right, $5,000 in the pot, we shuffle it. And Putnam, where do you like to go? I'll go with the price. This is right. The price is right, okay. And this is a long question, so pay attention. Here it is. In this pricing game, you are required to pick two of three numbers for the small prize, three or four numbers for the next prize, and finally all five numbers for the car. On a June 23rd, 2009 episode, Bridget won the car in five tries. Now, what is the name of this pricing game? Oh, shoot. I know this one. I, I'll bet you do. Um, oh, damn it. Oh, shoot. Need an answer. I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of it. Okay. Ten it's ten chances. Right, Matthew. It's ten, ten chances. chances. All right, $5,000 still in the pot. We shuffle. And Gary, where you like to go? One twice, Joy. Doinky doinky do. Can I choose, please? Everybody quiet. Yes. 
I'll take the who am I, please. Who am I? First time in that category. And it's a multiple choice question, Gary. So here's the question. My real name is Steve Lynn Morris Hardaway. And I am well known for songs like Sir Duke and Superstition. Who am I? And here's the choices. Is it A, Smokey Robinson, B, Lionel Richie, C, Stevie Wonder, or D, Ray Charles? No. Ronnie, I've been friends with you for two years now. You should know me by now how much of a big music I am. Obvious enough, it is Stevie Wonder. Correct! Hands down! 7,000 hours in the pot, we shuffle. And uh, putting them where you like to go. I'll go back to The Price is Right. Okay, here's your question. Try this one for The Price is Right. In this pricing game, you are not allowed to win one or two cars, but you must win all three cars to win the prize. The object is to pick the closest price of the car without going over. What is the name of this game? Uh, triple play. Correct! $9,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. And uh, where you want to go, Gary? The 50 states for the block, please. And I need the screen share here. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right, you see the state, Gary? Yeah. Okay, here's your question. The largest city in this state is Jacksonville, and the capital of this state is Tallahassee. Name this state. Florida? Correct! I want to kick your ass when you're wrong. And my ass has been kicked so many times as it is, and Ronnie screams on my picture. Yeah, you got $11,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. And where you like to go, um, Putnam? Jumping category? All right, Putnam. So get your dial pads ready. Here's the question. Now, if you get it on um, Putnam, you'll, you would have gotten the block. But, Gary, if you get it, you'll be the champion again, and your winnings will go up to $26,000, Gary, okay? Okay. Here's the question. go if you're wrong. Right. Here's the question. What is the name of the sidekick on the game Candy Crush Saga? Is it Linda... Tiffy or Odin? That was me. Gary, for twenty-six thousand dollars, what's the answer? That little bitch, T Tiffy. And this is a uh, family show, Gary. But you got Tic Tac Doe and thirteen thousand dollars. Good job. I had to get my thoughts out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least he was honest. Yeah. yeah that's true. Family that show. is true. Yeah. A family show. What explains Kyle language as well? Well, I told him that too. No, you didn't. But did you? I did. Yeah, you did. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I don't. I don't remember it. Yeah. Did. Thanks for listening. But um, Gary, you are the winner again. You have twenty six thousand dollars in cold hard cash, and you're gonna face the dragon shortly. Okay. Well, Putnam, um, you tried your best there. Yeah, I did. Um, we're going to definitely have you for another game, okay? Yep. All right, uh, Gary, are you ready to beat the dragon? With my fists? And hopefully kick him in the nut? And the privates, yes? Well, let's get to the game. I'm trying to stay clean as possible. <laughs> Alright, Gary, so you have $26,000 in cash. Now you can make that total a lot more by uh, playing the Face the Dragon game. Let's look at the Dragon right now. How are you doing today, Dragon? Gary, if you reach um ten thousand dollars or more without seeing um how the dragon, we're gonna give you these prizes. Tell them about it, Corey. That's scary. Right? You will be playing for a Queen Anne console digital piano, an entertainment unit, thirty-six inch TV tour of Ireland, with a trip to Venice and Montreal, a brand new spa, 
a price package worth thirty thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars. All right, and if you get a tick and attack Gary in any of your picks, we're going to give you thirty five thousand dollars on top of everything, and you will have a chance at a new car. Okay. Mm. Oh, so, it was unibrow piece of crap animal off of the screen. <laughs> what he just said. And Gary, start picking. All of those piece of crap animal off the screen. Eight. Number eight. Let's see what's behind number eight. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Good start. You know your options. Seven. Number seven. Let's see what's behind number seven. Fifteen hundred dollars. You're up to four thousand. Five. Number five. Let's see what's behind number five. Ten. No. All right, and he said two. If it is behind number two, Gary, if Tick is behind number two, you'll win $35,000 on top of your prize package, and you're going for the car. Let's see what's behind number two. Uh, $1,000. Now you need five. My number four. All right, he's not going to let me speak. Number four. We need Tick or $5,000 in number four. Be there. Well, Gary, you know what that means, right? Damn! And I will bet, oh, and the dragon's behind number three, so that... Oh, number three! Yay. So that bonus game was total $75,920, but you... <laughs> Thank you. But you're not done yet. You're going to bend over and you're going to kiss my bottle. I told you I'll kick you in the nuts and I would beat you. Look what happened, boy. I beat you. I beat you. Follow the buzzer from Gary Wyatt, man. Uh, <laughs> Follow the buzzers. I got the whole world in my hands, boy. Follow the buzzers. <laughs> All righty. Is it safe for me to talk Gary. now? All right, now, um, Gary, you know you have a 50-50 chance at winning the car. Let's see what car he's going for, Corey. A Chevy, a, excuse me, a Chrysler PT Cruiser worth $16,415, uh, $16, excuse me. All right, and Gary, don't say anything yet, because let me talk, because I'm the host. Now, you're going to have two numbers, tick and attack. Now, if you find a car behind the tick, your wings will go over $91,000 for the bonus game. Now, go ahead and pick between tick and tack. Tack. He's going with tack. Is the car behind tack? Be there. Yeah, you did it! You did it! You did it! Now, Gary, you can talk all the shit that you want to talk about. What did I tell you, Dragon? I beat your ass and I got the car. So you, how do you like me now, boy? Whoa! Well, that scared the hell out of me. Who said that? It's a lot, Kyle. That scared the hell out of me. Good one, Kyle. Well, that bonus game, let me get my microphone back. That bonus game was worth $92,335. We're going to add your previous winning to your total. You are winning, Gary, $118,335. Hey, Ron, you going through puberty again? Uh, it seemed that way. Now, Gary, do you want to face somebody else? Um, let me look here. Um, there's so many good people on here. No. I'm not facing you. Uh, I no. Uh, okay. No. Um. <laughs> you know what? While Gary ponder on that, we're gonna take a commercial break, guys. And when we come back, we'll see who's his next opponent. Don't go away. Guys, we're back. 
with uh, uh, the Tic Tac Dell Showdown. We have closing remarks. And Gary Newkirk, how do you feel about that win? You won another. You won your first car. Is Gary okay? We are on camera, Gary. Hold on one minute. Uh, hold on. Yeah, what's going on? Mom's on the phone. Yeah. Uh, so you won your first car, Gary. How do you feel about your win? Well, you have 118,500, well, excuse me. 335. You don't have the 535 yet. It's 118,335, okay? Gotcha. And uh, you're, and we found out who his next opponent was because we don't have time to do another game tonight. His next opponent is going to be Calculator Matt. Now, guys, when y'all want to do this next game? I believe it was agreed upon on Tuesday. Tuesday it is. So, guys, will Gary... Um, keep on with his winning ways. Will he go ahead and try to win millions of dollars like Kyle did? You have to see in the next episode of Tic Tac Doe. This is Roger1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, and thank you for supporting the Rodney1279 channel and stay blessed. Goodbye, everybody. It'll never catch up to me. Kyle, do me a favor and get upset at that intro, at the credits. Jason Scott, you suck. You made me break a fucking Lisa Jones, you're fired. Teresa Derizicki, you're fired. Sarah Kalinsky, you're fired. All of y'all guys are fired. Y'all are fired. Man, I just Trump your ass. <laughs> Pikachu, I don't know how you got on this show.